Hello, my loves. Right, today I have something new and gorgeous for you. As always, I have applied the Wildflowers Peel Off Base Coat to my nails and I'm using my TX Elite Tips. Now, I've put them into this little tip box. They don't come in this tip box. They come currently in a bag um, and they're having their own tip box specially made. But these are my TX Elite Tips. I do sell the empty boxes as well on the website. I'll put the link in the description box below. The TX Elite tips are currently out of stock, but you can pre-order or go on the mailing list to get your hands on them the minute they come in. I'm using Nail Mate Crystal Clear, Opal, and Perfect Pink. It's very pretty. I'm nearly out. I need to get some more. Um, and my really old manky acrylic brush that I just can't let go of. I can't say goodbye to it. It's gross, but I love it. Right, I've put on the TX Elite tips. We're going to go full length, baby. We're going to do it all the way. They're so perfect and beautiful. I love them. I'm just gutted I, I didn't stock more because they sold out within a few days. But more are on the way. Do not fear. Ouch, I just hurt my leg. Right, let's go in with this beautiful opal acrylic. It's super pretty. And we're just going to do a whole thumb of this because, quite, quite frankly, I can't stop looking at it. It's very pretty. I've got a bit of, like, hair on my brush, like, on the handle. But I'm not surprised because the plastic's so, like, melted. So I will apply this in zones because there is a, an awful lot of nail to fill. Um, I do go briefly out of shot. I apologise. So, yeah, that's the tip done. Isn't it beautiful, that acrylic? It's really pretty. And we're just going to keep working down the nail with this. It's really simple. Just patting and pressing the acrylic in and then joining it into the previous area. Nice and simple. So I'll let you watch this little bit here. Oh, also make sure you watch this video right to the end because I have an announcement. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Right, so our thumb is nice and opaly and sparkly and beautiful. Now I'm gonna do an ombre on this nail. So I'm gonna take the opal first and I'm gonna add it kind of halfway along the nail. <clears throat> Get that bead blended back a bit. It's a nice easy acrylic to work with because it's, um, it's not too, uh, what's the word? It's not got like too much chunky glitter in it. It's nice and simple. It's just got a few mylar flakes and then some beautiful iridescent kind of gold sheeny glitters in very beautiful so 
there we are we'll just tap that into place and I'll just add a little bit towards the tip there it's very awkward filming such long nails I must admit I should put put them on my um practice hand really but I haven't right so we we'll let that set a minute I'm actually going to do the same on the pinky nail as well so we're going to go ombre on the pinky nail this is a, a funny one to film because my fingers bend in funny directions and um, <laughs> I get in a pickle sometimes with it but it's all good don't worry let me know um, if there's anything particular you want to see next I have got uh, to show you at some point possibly in my next video some beautiful new gels from Madame Glam they're stunning and it's part of their Valentine's collection it's very gorgeous they only arrived yesterday so otherwise I would have shown you sooner but um, I'm all systems go with that as well and obviously my surprise announcement in this video <laughs> <laughs> so excited there we are look blend that all in lovely lovely jubbly do you know one thing I forgot to do with this? I forgot to lay a clear base and pinch, and that's my fault. Because I think with these tips, because they're so lo long and gorgeous, I like to have a good old pinch in them. Because they're very flexible still, they're not stiff. So, yeah, I would recommend <coughs> a thin base and a pinch just to keep them looking sleek. Um, these two middle nails are just going to be full-on nude for now. And then we'll do some stuff on them. So just applying the nude acrylic. And uh, yeah, I've kind of sped it up. I've only shown you one nail as well because you guys, it's only, you know, you know how to apply nude acrylic. And if you, if you don't, if you're struggling with application and stuff like that, I've got some mini courses that are like anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds on acrylic application. I've got a courses on how to apply tips and adjust them. So say you've got a, I don't know, a coffin tip and you want an almond nail or you've got um, a, a stiletto tip and you want a coffin nail. I've got videos on how to do that, like courses on how to do that and how to apply the acrylic, place your apex, file and shape that nail. It's all in one video and it's less than £20. So it's well worth it. Right. There we go. Apply that nice and smooth. We're going with that. See, I've got such narrow nails. I have to turn my brush on its side. And this brush is only a size eight, I think. Or, yeah, I think it's an eight. I've just got diddy nails. I'm pretty sure it's an eight or a ten. I, it wouldn't be above a ten. But it's so old, I couldn't tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward now quickly and have both nails done as if by magic. And I am ombreing the index finger. Some of it was out of shot because my kitten knocked my camera and I didn't realize, which was very frustrating. So I literally just ombreed the nude over the opal. I even have an ombreing course as well. So, um, and there's loads of videos on my YouTube if you wanna do ombre as well. Um, so yeah, I think I've got an acrylic ombre course that I think, I think I've got so many courses now I forget what they are, but I think it's like a tenner. And it shows different types of ombre, red and black, glitter, pink and white, and reverse glitter ombre. So yeah. There we are, just capping it. Obviously, you've got to cap the opal. You don't have to cap the nude. There we go. And we're going to cap that thumb as well. That's a lot of thumbnail there. 
I've sped it up a little bit, but you know the rule. If it ain't matte, it ain't capped. So you've got to cap that acrylic. Make sure all of it turns a matte. It Sometimes it even seems to change colour when you cap it. Like the opal seems to shimmer a bit more green when you cap it. But that's a good indicator. So you know that you're doing everything you can to cover all that acrylic up. Because what will happen is if you don't cap glitters and design work, then when you file, you're going to file it away. So if I don't cap the ombre area, I'll file it away. If I don't cap the opal, I'll file it away and it will ruin it. So you must, must always cap. And most coloured acrylics need capping because they simply have so much pigment to acrylic ratio that they're not going to be strong enough. Although people do just use coloured acrylic, it's not advisable for strength and wearability or durability. Right. When I think about yesterday. There we go. And also it's cheaper to, to cap anyway, because if you build your entire structure out of coloured acrylic, that's rather expensive in the long run. So we'll finish that capping. Capping long nails is a lot of work. And I filed off camera, obviously, because I can't keep it in shot when they're this long. It would just be silly. We're gonna do um a little bit of crystal work and I'm going to top coat this nail first and then um, I just popped a couple of flowers on. I did it off camera because it was just like simple, nothing extravagant. But what I want to tell you is I have been working for months on this, painstakingly product testing and going back and forth with um, producer, product manufacturers and stuff like that. And now I have my own crystal mix my own crystal brand is called Alina the first mix made by me by hand still still sat at home making these mixes by hand um, is the spring opal mix it's a mixture of pink green blue and white opals yellow shimmers AB butterflies and AB um, mermaid shapes they're like a curved navette they're beautiful it's a flat back mix uh, trust me, now I'm a Swarovski addict, you know that, but we have to get ready for change. I don't like change, change makes me feel weird, but I had no choice. I will still be stocking Swarovski as long as I can get my hands on them, but orders that I'm placing is taking so long to come from Austria, it's unbelievable. And um, I knew it was coming, so I just had to get ready to diversify. And this led to the birth of Alina. The reason I chose the name Alina is because it's Romanian and it means like bright sunlight and sunshine and that made me think of sparkle and happiness and crystals make me happy so meet my brand Alina. There will be more mixes coming, there will be, if you guys would like general bags so if you could buy all one colour in four different sizes for example let me know because at the moment I'm making custom mixes. Um, and I love doing that, that's, that's what I love doing, but I'm happy to provide basic base crystals as well if you want. So I'm going to do a crystal design on the middle finger there, just to show you how they work, how they look and how stunning they are. And I managed to trick so many of you guys by putting a pic uh, video up on my Instagram and just saying, oh, what's coming? And everyone said, a new Shirovsky mix. And I was like, no, these are mine, but damn, they're good, aren't they? Like, I got ya. They're so friggin' sparkly. The quality is stunning. And that's why it took me so long. That's why I couldn't say anything until I was 100% sure, even to the point where I had confirmed my supplier and my orders, but I wouldn't say anything until they arrived and I checked them. And the thing is, I count these crystals by hand. I don't have any fancy expensive machines. And I bag them up myself. So if I see something I don't like, every crystal is checked. Every single crystal is checked. You must think I'm mad. My doctor thinks I'm mad. I have a frozen shoulder. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. So I'm happy. And, and you guys, the minute some, some of you, the minute you got a sniff of it, you went on the website and started ordering before I'd even announced you cheeky little monkeys. I love it. 
happy. I'm so excited. So yeah, this is the Spring Opal mix from Alina. Ah, I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> oh, and, and the best part is, I mean, compared to Shrovsky, they are a lot more budget friendly. Let's just say that. They're, they're not as expensive as Shrovsky. So I can put, pull together quite amazing mixes that won't break your bank. And I think, you know, there's a market for that as well, isn't there? I tried a completely different little design today. I was really, I just thought, I don't know, I fancied something different. And I love this cent central jewel focal point type thing. I'm loving it. It looks absolutely stunning. Like, oh my God, honey. Hello. You will get a better view of the crystals in a minute. Right, so I'm going in with Madame Glam's top coat, actually, and I'm going to top coat these nails. And these nails are so freaking long that the top coat runs out before you get to the end. Isn't that beautiful? That acrylic is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I should just remind you guys, because I get a lot of messages about these TX Elite tips are definitely coming back in stock any day. I'm just waiting you can go on the website and if you look at it, it says TX Elite Tips pre-order. If you pre-order, then basically you're top of the list to get them. But if you don't want to pre-order, and that's completely cool, pop yourself on the sub subscribe to the mailing list. You will get a notification pop up as soon as they are in stock and then you can whiz over and get them. Uh, the TX Elite Tips, at the moment they come in a bag and you get 500 for £9.80. That is very good value for money. Uh, they will be coming in a box. And like I said, you can buy the boxes on my website, uh, a different type of box, the one I showed you earlier. That is available empty on my website. But the TX Elite box that I am having made is, is on its way. It's just obviously it's slightly different. So it's a bit more fancy. Do you know what I mean? But I'm using those normal tip boxes to put my press on nail tips in as well. So... Yeah, they're like multifunction. Look at that opal ombre. That came out so nice. Beautiful, very happy. I've used a peel off base coat so the cuticles are starting to lift already. Which is a nightmare. Right, I'm gonna seal in these beautiful, beautiful crystals. Just using my top coat and my little detailer brush. There we are, we'll seal those all in. And then top coat the rest of that nail. Very nice. And then once that's all been top coated, we'll cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now, don't forget, Alina Crystals are on the website. They are live now. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Tally bye.